Hi everyone, Scott Erickson here. Hey, it, we're coming up on the Lenten season, so that means Stations of the Cross. I have a Stations of the Cross show that I've been doing for a number of years now, and I get a lot of questions about it, and so I thought I'd take some time to ask your most frequent, most commonly asked, frequently asked questions. What is the Stations of the Cross? Well, the Stations of the Cross started a long time ago in the Middle Ages when people from Europe liked to do pilgrimages to Jerusalem. Now, only the wealthy could really afford it. What they did is they took these places along the Via Della Rosa, these stages uh, along the journey that Christ took to the cross. They would come home and they would make these stations as a, like a little meditative, walking meditative piece. And this tradition built over time till eventually it was formed into a visual tradition that is in most Catholic churches. You go into most Catholic churches, around the sanctuary are the Stations of the Cross. What is the Stations in the Street? The Stations in the Street is my updated version of the Stations of the Cross. I wanted to create an art show that allowed the same kind of experience. From my experience going to Jerusalem and walking the stations myself, the stations typically are portrayed with an image of Jesus and a cross. I wanted to do a version where elements of those stations were crossed, and so they create a cross, and then it allows the viewer to not necessarily look at a representation of Jesus, but to go, oh, what does this story talk about, about his journey and about the journey that we're also on? How does it work? Well, I wanted to make something that all communities of faith could use as part of their meditative journey this season. So what I did is I made the show available for a download, and then you can download that and take it to any print. Usually there's a FedEx office around and they have these printers that print out architecture layouts. And so you can use the big printer, you print them out, and you, the biggest size you can have is four feet by three feet. And then you can display these stations wherever you want, outside your building, inside your building, on your house, on a wall, in an alleyway, wherever you want to put it. But you can put these stations up anywhere. Do you have to put these outside? Look, I, at the time, I was part of this community that had a lot of people walk by the church and I thought it would be great to have the stations on the outside for whoever was walking by could partake in what happens when you walk through the stations. And it's also kind of fun to become a little bit of a street artist, right? You're gonna do, you're gonna mix up some paste, you're gonna put them up, you're gonna display it, just like Shepherd Fairy, just like Banksy, you can feel cool like that. But I know that it's not for everybody, so you don't have to put them outside. You can put them inside your building, inside your house, inside your space, wherever you want. It's really versatile wherever you wanna put them. What's up with the QR codes? Well, the thing that I would get the most after years of doing this is people would be like, hey, what are the meditations involved with this? And so I spent time writing some meditations and then with the resurgence of QR codes, thanks pandemic, I put them on there. So when you scan the QR code, it goes right to an online meditation that can lead a viewer there. So you don't need somebody there to guide people through or answer questions. It really can be for the viewer. Do you have to use the QR codes? No, when you download the show, there's a version with QR codes and without QR codes, you can decide what you wanna do, which one you wanna print out and put up. Is it only in English? Do you have it in other languages? I actually do have it in other languages. I have a version in Spanish and in German and in French. If you would like this to be in your language and you, and you wanna help me out, uh, I can send you the copy and we can work out and getting it in your language. I would love to, to go global if it's, if it's helpful to you. So contact me and we can figure that out. How do I find out more? You can go to my website, scotterickssonart.com or scotterickssonartshop.com and information will be there about the stations and you can find out more, read the meditations and see if it's something we wanna do for you. Thank you to everybody who's ever put these up and it's so exciting to see the new places this is going and stuff. It's gone all over the world and it's, it's awesome. And I hope for you in this season that this is a helpful tool to bring you into the deeper story that's happening back in Christ's life back then and in the life we're invited to right now.